About a century ago, a blight was brought in that wiped out the American chestnut in about a 50 years or so. So we went from about five billion American chestnut trees down to a few million that are surviving today. Uh, it was a important uh, keystone species and right now the only American chestnuts that are surviving out there are ones surviving at the stumps. And uh, so what we want to do is try to bring this species back. We've been at this for 25 years. We started out trying with a gene gun. That's, a, that's basically a very, uh, it's a $15,000 air pistol. Um, it didn't work. And then so we started with agrobacterium transformation. And that has, that has, uh, we've, we've uh, developed a much better technique over the years. But now that we have the techniques, we can actually put genes in fairly quickly. <laughs> it still takes about uh, a year or two to get a gene in and then, then get it ready for testing. But still, that's much quicker than, than breeding. A generation for chestnut takes um, at minimum three years, uh, typically more like uh, five, six years. But for us, we can, we can put things in very quickly. But we're not abandoning breeding because when you do genetic engineering, you're actually putting out a clone. Um, you're not putting out a, a very diverse population. So what we need to do is take our transgenic trees and then outcross them to the surviving trees and rebuild the genetic diversity. And we have a plan to do that. We've just started, uh, started a campaign that's called crowdsourcing, which I'd never even heard of until this week came up. But uh, um, we're, we're planning on producing 10,000 small trees so that these can be distributed to the public. And also we're going to have uh, enough older ones that are producing seeds by that time so that we can also distribute seeds. And um, they are going to be planting them in their yards and their uh, farms and uh, we're going to plant only one tree. Then when we, we finally get our release permit so we can send other trees, our blight resistant ones, and they're going to plant them beside them and uh, have two trees. Uh, the chestnut will not self-pollinate. So it will, um, it will wait to happily wait for its, uh, our transgenic trees and then it will start pr producing a foci and make the uh, resistance gene will spread into the regular population. It w it w it'll take 100 years before we're, we're even a token of the, what we had at one time, but it's a start.